Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at Wise Media's sixth EMEA Summit here in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Max Schneider. Max, thanks very much for joining me. We normally talk in your um, CEO role, but today let's explore the um, European Association for Biometrics, yes. which you're Secretary of the Board and I believe co-founder of. Exactly. Um, um, yeah. You're celebrating a, a milestone. You're already, in quite a short time, close to your 100th member, I think? Yes, yes. We, we just, uh, oh, let's say in one year time, mm -hmm. um, we, have, we are running into the 100th member which is uh, a very interesting achievement. I must say the, um, the history of the EAB is uh, in fact already started in, in uh, some, something like 2003. Um, the, 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 um, the EAB came out of the former EBF mm -hmm. and uh, even more important, uh, it came out of a thematic network uh, called Best Network. Right. Uh, which was funded by the European Commission and it was um, uh, a network because the project ended last year uh, consisting of 26 partners coming from industry um, and academia and some external partners from government so in fact the, the whole basis of the, the EIB was already there and in the best network combined with the EBF you can say and I'm not exaggerating that the whole legacy of 10 years of European research mm -hmm. on biometrics is now currently represented, brought together into the EIB. Okay, and in terms of the success in, in new membership, what do you put that down to? Do you think it's down to a, a, a real desire to collaborate on projects? Or and is, it, is there one group, academia, business or government, that are really driving that, that convergence? Well, I must say, um, it is not an industry association. Um, it is an association of all stakeholders because we still think uh, that biometrics and identity is a fragmented area where governments and industry sometimes are living quite apart mm. together. Yeah. Um, also, there is a lot of happening, a lot happening on innovation with SMEs who are in the biometric area, who have very big problems to get on the big stage mm. because they are small. Yeah. Uh, um, the market is still pushed by government projects. How can you get government projects if mm. you are a small company? Yet there are so many smart European new uh, biometric companies and there was no place to go for them right. to have a voice or to yeah. have a platform. Um, the other thing is that we have a very active academic Env uh, environment in Europe as a whole, in Italy, in Spain, uh, in, in the Netherlands, uh, in Switzerland. Um, so that's another reason to set up a platform mm. with a European scope. Another thing is testing and certification. Uh, we are very much in need in Europe, but also internationally, but let's focus on Europe, it's mm -hmm. complex enough, yeah. uh, to some common test yeah, tools, standard. test standards are developed, yeah. being developed, developed. But how to test? Tools and methodologies. Exactly, yeah. because you must be able to compare test results. Currently, we cannot do that. Right. Nevertheless, we have one passport mm. based on one regulation, but we, it's difficult to compare and to make uh, a single approach yeah. on testing and evaluation. So that's another reason to yeah. have the platform there. Yeah. And there is an. A fourth reason, I think I'm at four now, but, but maybe it's yeah. fifth, um, is a collaboration in forensics. Yeah. So we have started a, a working group, uh, which is chaired by, uh, a chaired a lead being, being led by the, um, the Dutch uh, Forensic Institute okay. of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, to set up a working group on forensic biometrics. You have heard the FBI mm -hmm. statement of this morning, yeah. For biometrics and forensics is a massive massive development and uh, there I, and I spoke with the director general uh, of this morning and he confirmed the need in Europe yeah. to set up a common kind of working yeah. group or a center of excellence 
all forensic and biometrics, and that's exactly one of the activities. One of the activities you're doing, and I believe um, in terms of activities and initiatives moving forward, you're looking to do something at the uh, ID World event in Europe in the summer. Yes, yes, we are preparing um, a, uh, a biometric pavilion okay. uh, at the Frankfurt Messago ID World for mm -hmm. uh, edition, okay. and the intention is to link into the, the to the verticals which are present. Yeah during the event. So we, we are putting the biometrics inside out mm. instead of inside yeah, in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the biometric community is, can, it can be a, a bit of an inner circle. Yeah. Um, it's clearly the time to get out of that circle yeah. and move actively into the segments where biometrics are really being deployed. Mm. Yeah and have the impact. And lastly, if someone wants to reach out to the association, if someone wants to get hold of you, is there a URL, is there a, a, a route that they should contact you through? Yes, we have chosen for the shortest URL we could find. Uh -huh. It's eab.org. Okay, fantastic. So eab.org, they'll find you there, they'll find the information. Loads of information. Okay. You can see all the working groups. Fantastic. We have working groups, special interest group, committees. Good all active. Okay, well Max, thanks for your time. Thanks for talking to me about that. Thank you for the um, opportunity. Good luck with the project. Look forward to seeing you in Frankfurt later in the year. Yeah. Okay, thank, thank you. you.